Well, welcome to Johnny's Drive-In. I'm Johnny, and you're getting the best in entertainment news, and thank you for tuning in today. We got some stuff that just dropped out of Disney and uh, DC Comics. Uh, that's the Justice League movie. They have some new artwork that we're going to be looking at today, giving some feedback on it. And what's interesting about this artwork is that it focuses on Superman. It has Superman featured in the artwork, which is something new, because in the prior... Justice League posters they didn't have any Superman in there so now they have some we have Superman here of course uh, let's take a look at this first one okay look at here you have Superman way up on top there um, it's a uh, blue and purple like uh, um, uh, poster here and you have Wonder Woman to the left there and uh, the, uh, the uh, Aquaman to the right and then you have Cyborg beneath Aquaman Batman in the middle and of course uh, the Flash, Barry Allen there, and it says Justice League. Believe this. Uh, this artwork is kind of interesting. It looks like more of a T-shirt, something of that sort, um, or type of artwork. Um, it's nice. I like it. It's it's good. So let's go ahead and go on to the next one here. And I'll be giving you some feedback on what I feel about the uh, artwork uh, and the fact that Superman is in the artwork at the moment here. Well, I'm looking at this one here. This one's got its focus on on Wonder Woman. Uh, it's kind of like got a cosmic look to it, um, with uh, Justice League over her uh, right, to her left shoulder, and the Flash, and you have Superman in there, Batman, a Cyborg, and then, of course, you see Aquaman. This one is a nice uh, look. Looks like she's got a little bit of that little lasso going around her there, uh, but that's not the golden lasso. It just looks like some sort of a uh, effect. Uh, she got her shield. Um, Wonder Woman, I'll tell you what, that Wonder Woman movie was outstanding. Very, very good job uh, by Gail Gadot in that film and Chris Pine. Um, again, you see there we have Superman. He's in his uh, his uh, blue suit, you know, uh, with speculation that he might be in a black suit, you know, that's been going around. Uh, remember in the last uh, film there, he died uh, at the hands of, of uh, Doomsday. I believe this one here is going to be the poster, the movie poster. It says, United Me, We Stand, and it uh, has uh, the villain in there, uh, uh, I think it was Wolf, Wolfgang or something like that, I'm not sure what his name is. Then, uh, then you have uh, a look there, you have Batman uh, in the background there, then you have Wonder Woman with her sword out, uh, then you have uh, Aquaman, looks like he's going to fix and to pierce you with his... Uh, his uh, is um, Trident. Then you have uh, in the back there. You have Cyborg. They're looking at something. Cyborg's looking at something there. And then of course you have the Flash. The Flash is leading the way. Uh, and then you have Superman flying over top there. And um, you know, very. That's 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 a good poster. But I, one thing that I I think is a mistake that they're making is including Superman in these promos uh you know i would have i would have liked to see uh a little bit more mystery uh, but then again they did that with uh the batman v superman which i thought was a good movie uh they did that when they included uh doomsday in the promos you know i thought that was a mistake i kind of took away the surprise uh, i would have liked to see the surprise of superman stay saved to the movies then here we have another some more batman artwork this looks like some t-shirt artwork in my opinion uh, you got the Batman there with his uh, red eyes and uh, uh, good looking Batman there. And uh, uh, it's kind of like Lego. It looks like Legos a little bit there. And I'd like to have uh, see what your feedback is on this, uh, folks. All you folks out there watching this. And I see the Batman nice. Nice gray. I like it. Now let's go ahead and go to the Flash. Uh, this, is a very this is a Lego look. This is a Lego look got the flash there it says Barry Allen the flash uh, very very good I, I enjoy the TV series very much so I think they do a great job in the TV series and um, it says SL there on the side there SL hmm. not sure what the SL is for uh, maybe uh, you guys will have some feedback for me on that what the SL is but here again, you've got Barry Allen there, side view of his face. 
um, they go look these all look like t-shirts and then you have uh, the last piece of art is the Justice League featuring uh, uh, Superman flying above then you have uh, the Flash and Batman if the Flash is really running, he wouldn't, you know, they're definitely Batman wouldn't be right there. He just must be right when they start real running. <laughs> Again, a, a good look here. I like it. Um, something different, a different type of artwork. I, I like the artwork. I do like the lightning around the Flash. I think it's something that uh, adds a little bit more. And um, again, that's the look. That's the artwork that we got. So tell me what you think. That's what I want to know. What do you think? Uh, do you like this artwork? Do you not like this artwork? Do you think it's a mistake to put Batman in there? Or do you think they're just trying to beat the school rush to get the t-shirts out and sold? I think that's what it is, really, if you ask me. Looks like this is a marketing ploy to, make, to start marketing the movie and at the same time get into that back-to-school crowd, which is very important. And uh, they're going to have these shirts. It says Justice League. They're going to have the Superman in there along with the rest of the Justice League. So uh, that's it for today. So we want to make sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe down there. And make sure you pass this on to someone if you liked what you heard today. Again, this is John from Johnny's Drive-In. And you guys have a wonderful day. And please make sure and subscribe. And we'll see you once again at the Drive-In.